out there comic book fans I know I did my re- for Friday Night Reviews already And I know this is Saturday The reason I uploaded my Friday Night Reviews earlier today Is I was having problems uploading them yesterday So I did them today after work But This is an, a bonus review Just because I don't know why that I should have Should have cleaned that thing up <laughs> I really should have picked that up But oh well um, I know that when I did my LCS haul, I said that I would probably do a review of this comic. And, uh, realized that I hadn't. So, I'm going to do it. It is Count Crawley, Reluctant Midnight Monster Hunter. It is written by David Dast McCulchin. I probably massacred that name. But it is number one of a four part miniseries published by Dark Horse Comics. And if you've watched my channel before, you will know that I really dig horror comics, or at least good horror comics. And I grew up in the 80s watching Elvira. I mean, who doesn't like Elvira? <laughs> and uh, I sort of, I sort of like watching horror host uh, shows. I was even on a couple of them up here. Knew a guy and I helped him out a little bit. And so a combination of a horror comic with based on a horror host, I couldn't resist. It was a blind buy, but I have to tell you, I enjoyed the hell out of it. All right. Basic premise of the story. There is a woman by the name of Jerry Butler. She has a bit of a drinking problem. She is um, a reporter on the local news. And uh, she imbibes. She imbibes frequently. Which leads to an outburst on air while she is at a Ren Fair type situation and it leads her to getting canned from her job. But her brother is the program manager of the station and he's like, look, I, dude, you need to do something about this stuff. I don't want to fire you. Here's the deal. We have Count Crowley show on the weekend dude disappeared last week we haven't seen him we need a host for this weekend you're gonna be in makeup no one's gonna know who you are that's the only thing i can get for you right now and at first jerry says hell no i'm not gonna do it but events happen and uh she winds up taking the job. Well, one of the things that happens, uh, you know, she she does the first show and she's a little imbibey during the show. <laughs> I had it bobbed a little bit before the show, and she just has an attitude during it, and they receive a few complaints. But people are like, a lot of people are like, dude, this is great. We love this stuff. And so he, they want her back. But what the problem is, she doesn't realize, is that the monsters are real. And it looks like they got rid of uh, the original Count Crawley, and they're coming after her. And that's where it leaves off. This is a really good series. Uh, it's fun. Looks like it could be uh, rather entertaining. It is four parts, and I'm hoping that if this does well, that it continues on and the quality keeps up. Okay, so here it is right here. This is I mean this. I know I've already got you know down here and all that, but I mean look at the cover. That is awesome. You've got really good art. 
the art is fun. I mean, it 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 does. I mean, look at that. Look look at some of the stuff that goes on here. It's and like here she is at the Ren Fair. Uh, so the art is good. The writing is well done. And it's just an all-around pleasurable book. And I recommend it. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 and say, go ahead, give it a read. And, uh, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Talk to you later. Like and subscribe.